Hey, Jarno. I'm so happy for you on your engagement. You must be over the moon with joy. The wedding is going to be a spectacular event, and I can hardly wait to be there. You must feel so lucky and excited to have found your soulmate. How did you two cross paths? What is she like as a person? Lisa, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your kind words mean a lot to me. I've been wanting to introduce you to the woman who stole my heart before the big day. It's just that finding the right opportunity has been challenging. She's been occupied with work and family matters, and I've been buried under wedding plans. If there's any possibility for you two to meet before the wedding, it would make me very happy. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she's a lovely person, and I'll get to bond with her soon enough. If she's the one you've picked, I have no doubt she's amazing. You deserve nothing but the best, Jarno. Do you really think so? I'm still in disbelief. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be tying the knot. All these years, living alone, never envisioning that one day I'd be making such a huge commitment. But she changed everything for me. She made me look at things differently. She made me aspire to be a better person. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Having second thoughts now? It's totally normal to feel nervous or uncertain before a life-altering decision. But trust me, you're making the right move. You're in love. And that's what counts. Yeah, I suppose it's just pre-wedding nerves. I'm fine. Thanks for being supportive, Lisa. Her name is Kaylee, right? Tell me more about her. What does she do for a living? What are her hobbies? How did you pop the question? She's gorgeous and has this impressive career, too. You met her at work, didn't you? Yeah, our paths crossed during a business partnership between our companies. We clicked right away and started dating shortly after. I'm certain she's a wonderful person. Otherwise, marriage wouldn't even be on my mind. But there are times when I feel a bit uneasy to tell you the truth. Uneasy? About what? Here I thought you'd be on top of the world with the wedding date fixed and all. Seems like there's something troubling you. Remember, I'm here for you. I might not have all the solutions, but I'm a good listener. Who would have guessed that one day I'd be seeking relationship advice from my little sister, 10 years younger than me? <laughs> when I said uneasy, it's more like she gets really worried about me. Oh, in what way? Well, you know our family background. I've been single and independent up until meeting her. Plus, attending an all-boys private school and hanging out with my engineering pals in college didn't exactly help me to learn how to mingle with women. Now that you bring it up, we never really mentioned girls much. And now Kaylee's all worked up. Worked up about what? She thinks, well, that I might be cheating on her or something. Seriously? Out of everyone I know, you're the last person to cheat. What could possibly make her think that? This is just too ridiculous. Okay, okay, enough mocking me. Can we focus on fixing this problem? It's really upsetting me. It just doesn't make sense for her to think you're cheating. It's literally unthinkable for someone like you. <laughs> Any clue why she's so concerned? Yeah, it puzzles me too. But she saw me talking to a female coworker at work. It was just a work-related conversation, but she lost her temper and nothing I said could soothe her down. That's when misgivings about our relationship started sneaking in. She got that angry over a work conversation? It's your profession. You can't avoid talking to coworkers just because they're women. Honestly, apart from this one issue, everything else has been pretty awesome between us. I just need to make sure she doesn't spot me chatting with other women at work. So basically, you wanted to boast about your relationship after all. <laughs> oh boy, give me some slack. Thanks, Jarno. What a fascinating story. Now I'm feeling envious of your relationship. Hold on, you don't need to rush into anything. Uh, excuse me, but I'm not a kid anymore. I'm already 27. I'd like to find my partner soon. Well, I'm happy that you're content in doing well. I'm so thrilled for the wedding. I'll see you there.
that's the consequences of your actions for trying to snatch my man away from me. You think you can just waltz into his life and seduce him? Go to hell and burn there if you think this is the end of it. You're completely mistaken. I'm not gonna let you get away with this. You better brace yourself for what's coming. I have more tricks up my sleeve and I won't stop until you're out of the picture for good. Uh, just hold on a minute. Is this Kaylee speaking? What's happening? I don't understand. What did I ever do to you? Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what you did. There's something seriously wrong about the fact that you were in my fiance's bedroom right before our wedding day. This is the last straw. You'll regret it if you keep pursuing him, you whore. The least you could have done was think twice about the timing of it all. What? Are you trying to sabotage the wedding? You think you can persuade Yarno to call it off at this stage? You're delusional. Wait a moment. Calm down. I really don't grasp a single thing that you're saying. This is all a huge misunderstanding. Besides, I'm at the hospital right now getting medical attention. My face is all bruised and swollen, and I can hardly even type these messages right now. Why would you do something so cruel? I never did anything to you to warrant this. How can you be so heartless? How do you feel after being assaulted by five girls? That's what you deserve. Don't try to act innocent with me. You're nothing but a homewrecker and a liar. Rotten hell. That's where you belong. And don't expect any sympathy from me or Yarno. He loves me, not you. He'll never leave me for a slut like you. I honestly don't understand. What in the world is going on? Please explain yourself. What are you talking about? When was I in Jarno's bedroom? Who are these five girls? Why did they attack me? Jarno, I really think you should cancel the wedding. Your fiance is out of her mind. You need to reconsider your choice. She is not the person you think she is. What are you saying? It's the day of the wedding. Why are you suddenly changing your mind out of the blue? <laughs> you always liked Kaylee and supported our relationship. What's going on? I'm serious here. Please listen to what I'm trying to say to you. Kaylee is dangerous and unstable. She's done something terrible to me, and I don't think she loves you at all. I have more urgent issues here, sis. Like my glasses that I asked you to get for me? I have to deal with all the relatives coming. So I'm grateful that you offered to go pick them up at my house. But aren't you taking a little too long? Where are you? I'm at the hospital right now. At the hospital? What happened to you? Are you okay? Did you have an accident? No, it wasn't an accident. It was Kaylee. She sent five girls to beat me up. They ambushed me on the way to your house and left me bleeding and bruised. What? That's insane. Why would she do that? How do you know it was her? Because she texted me afterwards and told me everything. She said it was because I was in your bedroom before the wedding day. She thinks I'm trying to steal you from her. That's ridiculous. You were in my bedroom because I asked you to help me pack my stuff. There's nothing going on between us. We're siblings for God's sake. I know, right? But she doesn't believe that. She's crazy and jealous. She doesn't deserve you, Jarno. You have to call off the wedding. This is unbelievable. I don't know what to say. I need to talk to her and sort this out. No, don't talk to her. She's dangerous and manipulative. She'll lie to you and make you feel sorry for her. You need to get away from her as soon as possible. I can't just leave her like that. We're supposed to get married today. I love her, Lisa. No, you don't. You love the image of her that she created for you. The real Kelly is a monster who tried to kill me. I can't believe this is happening. Please, Jarno. Trust me on this one. Cancel the wedding and come see me at the hospital. Bring mom with you too. Okay, okay, fine, I'll do it. Thank you, Jarno. You won't regret it. I hope not. I'll send you the address of the hospital. So please bring mom and come quickly. All right, sis, hang in there. I'm on my way. This is Kaylee, right? 
I fully regained consciousness now. It looks like you literally shattered my face. It's going to take a long time to recover. How are you going to be accountable for this? How can you live with yourself after doing something so horrible? Accountable? <laughs> That's my question. How are you going to be accountable? Hun, you started this whole mess. You brought this upon yourself. You should have known better than to mess with me and my man. Excuse me? What do you want me to be accountable for in the first place? After inflicting this much harm on my face, you have the nerve to ask me to be accountable? You're the one who should be apologizing and begging for forgiveness. You should be facing the consequences of your actions. You should be thankful that you're still breathing. If you try to interfere with me and Yarno anymore, you'll pay a bigger price than that pretty face of yours. You'll wish you were never born. Interfere with you guys? How did I do that? You didn't even let me say anything before you brought your friends to beat me up. I didn't do anything to deserve being attacked. I was just trying to help Jarno with his glasses. He asked me to get them for him from his house. So you still want to try to conceal the fact that you've been having an affair with Jarno behind my back? You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know what's going on between you two? What the heck? Where are you getting these notions? There's nothing going on between me and Jarno. Then even on the day of my freaking wedding, do you even have a brain? Who the heck would do something so foolish? You're trying to ruin my happiness, aren't you? You're trying to steal Jarno from me, aren't you? Unbelievable. How could you just jump to conclusions like that? Jarno wasn't even with me. And besides, you really don't trust Jarno at all. Even though you're getting married, how can you have a healthy relationship with him if you're so paranoid and insecure? I finally got a hold of a good guy this time. You think I'm gonna let him slip away that easily? Sure, you may be younger than me, but you're not even much of a looker. I don't even know what Jarno saw in you, but I won't let you have him. He's mine and only mine. You've got to be kidding me. You're not even going to let me explain anything, are you? You're not even going to listen to reason, are you? You're so blinded by your jealousy and obsession that you can't see the truth. I don't want to hear anything a cheater has to say. No need to justify yourself with some lame excuses. Besides, there's nothing in it for me at this point. Yarno and I are getting married, and that's final. I'll finally get to settle down with a guy who's successful in life. Someone who can bring my life stability. Yarno will be a nice husband. He listens to what I have to say without complaining. I finally found someone like that for myself. You think a trivial affair with the likes of you will stop me? Can you just stop for one second with the darn delusions and listen to what I have to say? There was no affair. There is no affair. And there never will be an affair. He's your fiance. Not mine. He's your future husband. Not mine. Why can't you understand that? What is it, huh? I'm telling you, I'm not in the wrong of this situation. I don't regret what I did at all. You deserved it. You're the one that went and had an affair with my Yarno. You thought you were going to get away with a slap on the wrist? You broke your face? Boo-hoo! You should be grateful that getting punched in the face was the only thing that happened this time. I'm Jarno's sister. What? His sister? Now that you know, you still don't regret what you did. Are you seriously his sister? This morning, my brother asked me to go pick up some of his belongings. That's why I was at his house. I didn't think I'd end up at the hospital like this. Yarno's a little sister? My brother was staying at our parents' house last night and accidentally broke his glasses. So I went to look for an extra pair he had at his place. To think I'd end up like this with my face barely recognizable. You're really his sister. I mean, you look way too young to be related to him. How can you be his sister? You guys must have a huge age gap. We're 10 years apart. But what does that have to do with anything? You think you can make some excuse based on something like that? So... Just making sure you are Jarno's sister. No mistake. Lisa? You knew Jarno had a younger sister. 
and you didn't even bother to think for one second that some girl in his house could be family? I mean, come on. You could have just asked who I was before jumping to conclusions. I mean, I wasn't thinking clearly. And now you're going to face the consequences. My brother and my parents are on their way to the hospital. What? Why? We need to get ready for the wedding. How is the wedding supposed to happen if Yarno is not there? Is that why he hasn't answered his phone? Is that all you care about? I'm at the hospital because of your actions. Oh, yeah. I do admit it's my fault, but what can I do at this point? It wasn't my intention to hurt Yarno's little sister, but how I will... How was I supposed to know? It was just a minor error in judgment, that's all. I have to say, things aren't looking too good for you. It's too late now to do anything to make up for what you did. No matter how you look at it, what you did counts as criminal behavior. And what were your friends thinking? Did they think they would just get away with ganging up on a young girl like that? Well, put yourself in our shoes. The bride and all the bridesmaids are headed to the wedding venue. We stop by the groom's house to say hello and find some woman standing in his bedroom. I saw red. Of course, my friends were going to back me up. It was messed up. And they all have my back. That's why they're my bridesmaids. Sure, but even in the middle of the whole chaos, your friends tried to stop you when they saw how far you were going. Everyone knew you were going overboard. There was no need for you to do so much damage under any circumstances. You need to pay for the hospital bills. Sure, I'll pay. Of course, I'll pay. So please don't tell Yarno about this. He can't find out that I was the one who caused all that harm to your face. Are you freaking serious? So you want me to lie and say some random person broke into the house and started beating me up for no reason? Who would believe such nonsense? And you're the only other person with the keys to my brother's house. Oh no, please don't tell me you already told Yarno. Of course I told him. My brother is so done with you. How could you tell him? The wedding is today for crying out loud. What am I supposed to do now? The ceremony is supposed to start soon. How could this be happening? Honestly, there's no one and nothing to blame but yourself. And why would you even think my brother is cheating on you in the first place? My brother is such a trustworthy guy with a good head on his shoulders. You shouldn't even be considering marriage when you can't see such an obvious truth. I beg you, please. Ask Yarno to call me so we can sort things out. Explain to him that it's not my fault. I'm sure you can come up with something. You're his little sister, right? That's the least you can do for me. Don't you want to fix this mess that we're in? You're nothing but a violent criminal to me. I have no intention of saving you from this situation. You don't deserve my help at all. And I won't lie to my brother for you. I don't want him marrying someone like you who would do such a thing. Please don't do this to me. We can work this out somehow. I'm going to be getting the police involved in this matter. You won't be getting away with what you did. So no matter what you say at this point, I won't be changing my mind about this. The police? You don't have to go that far with this. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? What did I do that was so wrong? You assaulted your fiance's sister. That's what you did. You committed a crime against me. Ugh, if you put it that way, I guess you're not wrong. But I didn't know. If I knew you were a sister, I wouldn't have done anything to you. You can't just get away with it by saying you didn't know you did the crime. Even if I was cheating with your fiance, it would still be a crime to attack me like that. There isn't one good reason to act as violently as you did towards another person. Oh, please don't ruin my life like this. Isn't there another way to solve the problem? You don't have to go to the police and make things worse. You have to make sure to explain things to Yarno, so he doesn't think badly of me. It's too late for that. I have already explained the situation to him, and my brother is furious with you. No, why would you do that? How could you? How could I? After you beat my face so badly, of course things would turn out like this. Which side do you think my brother would take after seeing me like this? If you tried to lie to my brother, it would be too obvious that you're lying. There's no way you can get away with this. My brother already saw the damage that you caused. Didn't I apologize already? We're gonna be sister-in-law soon. Can't you help me out here as family? Please. 
That won't be happening anymore. What do you mean by that? My brother knows your true colors now, and he's really angry about everything that's happened. The wedding is canceled and your engagement to him, it's over. You're lying. There's no way that's true. We were supposed to get our marriage registered after the ceremony today. How can he just back out now? It's too late for that. This is ridiculous. I'll sue you guys for ruining my wedding. Why don't you just try and see what happens? We'll be suing you as well for assaulting me. My brother has enough good reasons to do that too. No way! What am I supposed to do then? You're violent and you don't listen to people. You jump to conclusions right away and cause trouble for others without any proof. I'm so glad my brother isn't marrying someone like you who would hurt his sister like that. And I'm glad I won't have to consider you my family either. This is all a misunderstanding. That's not who I am. Really, I'm not who you think I am. I just slipped up this time. I'm not like this normally. You know, it's the day of the wedding, and I was feeling really nervous and anxious about it. Yeah, like pre-wedding jitters. You expect me to believe that the jitters are what caused you to punch me in the face repeatedly? Honestly, I'm glad all this happened before the wedding. Sure, it was painful and traumatic, but we were able to find out about your true nature before you guys got married. I'm relieved about that. Oh, and by the way, I'll be asking for compensation for all the days I won't be able to go to work because of your actions. How about the wedding? Are you serious right now? You're not when your parents are at the hospital, right? How about the wedding? What am I supposed to do now? Wow. You really can only think about yourself and your wedding. No shame, huh? You'll probably get a call from my brother soon. The wedding is canceled, like I said. My brother has already started contacting all the guests to tell them the news. No, 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 this can't be happening to me. Please save me from this nightmare. I'm so sorry for what I did. I really didn't mean for this to happen. Please help me out here. I really want to get married to Yarno! I beg you from the bottom of my heart! You brought this disaster on yourself. You should think twice before acting violently towards anyone next time. But I doubt anyone would even consider getting married to you after what you did to me, ha! Huh? Have fun living a lonely and miserable life. In the end, the wedding was cancelled and Kaylee went to Jarno to beg for forgiveness on her knees with tears streaming down her face. But Jarno ended the engagement without any hesitation. What big brother would forgive someone for causing all that damage to their little sister's face? We've reported Kaylee to the police, and she had to pay the hospital bills and other compensation fees for assaulting me. She also had to pay for the cancellation fees for the wedding that she ruined. She ended up spending every last penny she saved up for her dream wedding. Of course, we reported Kaylee's bridesmaids to the police as well. So they ended up getting mad at her for involving them in such a violent crime after they decided to end their friendship with Kaylee. Kaylee was now completely on her own. Her company even found out about her crime and fired her immediately. Kaylee lost her job, her fiance, and her friends. This is what happens when you act on the spur of the moment due to temporary feelings such as anger. Let's hope she learned her lesson this time and never hurts anyone again.